welcome to tonight's chisel class. We are going to be doing some arms, abs, and glutes. Uh, a real big focus on those areas in that class. But as always, we've got a nice total body workout. So if you have weights, you're gonna wanna use them. Uh, you can definitely go with something a little bit heavier for a lot of the exercises today. And then you may want something a little bit more medium weight to use for some of the arm exercises. If you do have a looped band, you can grab that and you can use that to make certain exercises harder. So I'll let you know when it would be a good time to put that band on and off. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I don't have my band here with me right now, but just know that that will be an option to make the workout a little bit harder or a little bit easier. So we're gonna run uh, just under 45 minutes tonight with our warm up, our cool down, and all of our exercises. I'll explain a little bit more to you um, as we go, but let's go ahead, if you have a watch, you can get that started. Just on any sort of strength training option, if you're not tracking your workout, that is completely fine. Sometimes it's good to just forget about it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the squat, down and up, just nice and easy. Starting to warm up through those hips, through those knees, through those ankles and all the muscles in between. All right, I'm gonna have you keep going with that. Let's just get four more. Four, three, two. I want you to take your left leg, step it back to a lunge. So it's lunge to squat, lunge to squat. You don't have to go too deep right here, just warming up. Lunge, squat, good. And welcome, go ahead. Looks like she's on and she's moving. Good, four more, four, three, two. Come back to those full range of motion squats. Down and up, down and up. Now, if you want, you can reach. Down and reach. Take those arms out to the side like you're making a snow angel in the air. Four, three, two. Okay, take that left leg, it's coming back, and squat, I'm sorry, right leg. Good, step back, and squat. Keep going with that, warming up those muscles. Eight, and seven. For four, three, two. We're staying in that squat, hold it here. Step side to side. Good, go all the way to the end of your mat. Toes are just slightly externally rotated. Okay, adding on a little hands behind the head, sink a little lower. So you should really feel like one of those crabs at the beach that kind of scatters around sideways. Good, two more each way. One more. Good, hold it there. Come to the back of your mat. We're getting those walkouts. Bend the knees, walk those hands all the way down, out to your plank, walk all the way back, stand up and reach. You should know by now, I love these in our warm up. They help give us a little bit of a stretch also a really good strengthening exercise as well. So from those crab backs to inchworms. On that next one, I want you to stay down in that plank. Knees or toes up to you. Tap each toe out to the side. It doesn't have to be very big. Or if you're really flexible, you're strong, you can make it bigger, up to you. four, and three, two more, I can tell you I am warm already, one more, good, walk those hands back, stand all 
the way up and get ready to work. So we've got 45 seconds of an exercise, 15 seconds rest, four exercises, and we're gonna run through each of those sets twice. So let's go ahead and start with our shoulders. We're gonna pick up our weights. All right, we've got a side raise, single, single, and double. So one with our left, one with our right, one with both arms. Go ahead and get that started. So our first exercise is really more arms or upper body focused. Then as we move through those exercises, they start to become more involved with our total body, our core, and our glutes. We want to make sure we're standing up nice and tall. We're not swinging. We're not using momentum. Get one more of each one. Good. Okay, set one way down. I want you to take that left leg behind the right. Put that left arm up in the air. We've got a curtsy lunge to a press. So it's a curtsy lunge. We squeeze in we press back up. Okay, so curtsy, lunge, and pull, and press. Go ahead and get that started. Other hand can go wherever you need it to for balance. We're a little bit more shoulders for focused for that first set. Just one side for now. We'll get the other side on the next round. Almost there. Let's get one more. Those 45 seconds go by quick. Okay, down on the ground, we're gonna be kneeling. So if you want to double your mat up for a little bit more support, you can. You certainly don't have to. I do want you to grab both weights. Okay, so both weights, I'm up tall, tall kneeling. We're going to sit back and press as we lift our hips forward. Okay, so join me here, we're going right into it. Sit back on the heels, press up. So that slow and controlled come down. One strong press up. Good. Don't let those knees go out too wide. You can have the feet slightly more centered. So a little bit more narrow than the knees. Really squeezing through those glutes every time we press up. Good, nice Tori. Almost there, let's get two more. All right, set one weight down. We are going to actually set both weights down. We're coming from a plank and we're hopping or stepping into a pike. So if we're stepping, it goes from plank to pike. So that pike, our hips are straight up. We're, we're pressing down through our hands and our shoulders. Here we go. Plank to pike. So you are trying to pull your feet in as much as you can. Now, if you need to modify, use a higher surface, a chair, a bench, a bed, whatever you've got nearby to do the exact same thing, either hopping or stepping. When you are in that pike, I want your hips up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Let me see those booties in the camera. Yeah, there we go, Gwen. She popped it up. That's right. Nice and high. Get those feet as po close as possible to those hands. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, back to the start with all of those exercises. We're taking it from the top with those side raises. Single, single, double. Let's start with the right arm this time. Here we go. Right fly, left, and then both. Okay, so we have a couple different areas or aspects of the shoulder. We have the front, we have the middle, and we have the rear. So when we're working on our side raises, we're focusing more on that middle deltoid, that middle of the shoulder. Good. 
Let's go, Linda. Strong arms. And this is a nice one because you really don't need heavy weights to feel it in those shoulders. Get one more each way. All right, we are going to set one weight down. We're gonna take our right leg behind our left for this round. Okay, we've got that one arm up. We're curtsying down. Pull everything together so that back leg and that elbow try to meet. Really get that nice side crunch. So don't just go through the motions here. Keep it active the whole way. Get that squeeze right through your side. We want to work it all if we're here, right? Perfect. Let's get one more here. Then we're coming down to those camel leans. You can double up the mat. Or if you don't need to, that's fine too. Both weights are racked up right by the front. Okay, so I'm not resting them. I'm just kind of holding them here. Feet are just slightly together. Here we go. We're sitting back and pressing up. Sit back, press. Good. Nice strong lift up towards the ceiling. Very important that we are squeezing through those glutes at the top. Stick with that. We are moving straight through tonight. Very, very little breaks. So feel free to take one when you need it. Shoulders should be getting tired. Let's get one more. Good. All right. Plank to pike. Hops, steps, higher surface, lower surface. In three, in two, and one. Here we go. Now you don't have to fly through these. Make sure that that form is good. So a nice strong plank. Feet hop in, nice and light on those feet. Good, keep going. So if you're doing these right, what will happen to you is the same thing that's happening to me right now. Your shirt, your jacket is gonna wanna slide up and over. That's okay. That means you're doing it right. Give me one more. Good job. All right, you get a quick break. Not very long, grab a sip of water. We are moving on to our next set. Pick those weights up. Biceps are next. Biceps, arms, we've got kind of a mix as we go through. All right, so palms are facing the front. It's a curl with the left, a curl with the right, a curl with both, let's get into it. Left, right, and both. Okay, now, you want a little bit more range of motion. You can take those arms to the outside of your thighs. That's gonna make it a little bit harder because you have to move through more motion here. If you're limited with your weight, you have something that's just a little too heavy, you can keep it a little bit smaller with those hands in front. That is the only difference. Get one more with each side. Next exercise, if you have a band, you can use it to crank the workout up a notch. If not, that's no problem. Let's stick with both weights though. So whether you have the band or not, we're all going to go to the same side. So we'll take our left leg into a side lunge, okay? And then that leg comes out to the side. So it's a side lunge and side lift. If you've got that band, it can stay around the ankles if it's a little bit of a lighter band. If it's a tougher band, it's got a lot of resistance. It goes around the thighs. Get right into it with me. So 
So I'm shifting my focus of where my weights are. They're over my side lunge, then they're over the standing leg. Good. That temptation is always there with these side lunges to step really wide, and you do not need to do that. It is better to set smaller, so that way you can get a little bit more range of motion when you sink back. That's the key here. Two more. And one more. Good, if you have that band around your ankles, keep it there. We're taking our feet wide. We are squatting low in that plie squat, so toes are turned out. Forearms or elbows are resting on the thighs. Bicep curls. Curl them up and down here. Simple move, but very, very, very difficult to stay low in the curl. So this is an easy one to modify if you need to take it up a little bit higher. If you want to make it harder, you know the drill. Sink low. Whew, let it burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, sink down on the ground. One way or two. I'm going to grab my two lighter ones here. Heels are digging in. We're in that earthquake position, so core sucked in, we're up tall, heels digging in, lean back, we're leaning back, curling up, lean back, curl up. So keep those arms in line with your body, so you've got that nice diagonal line as you lean back, and get that bicep curl. way to tuck in this up a little bit is to elevate those arms. Do that elevated curl. Way to make this easier. Drop down one weight or both. Good job. Stick with that. We're here for another 10 seconds. Then we hit it back to the top. Give me one more. Good job. All right. All the way back up. Right into it. Single. Single. Double bicep curl. Start with that right arm this time. As soon as you're up. Good. So those transitions are quick. If it takes you a second or two longer, that is okay. But that is why we have very minimal breaks tonight. Hopefully this second round. Those biceps are feeling it just a little bit more. They should be talking. One more with each. Single, single, and that double. Good job. All right, side lunge abducts. So we're gonna go to the other side this time. We'll take our right leg. If you have the band, it can go around. Side lunge, side raise. Side lunge, side raise. Get it going, ladies. So the weights are shifting where the weight of your body is going. Okay, so your weight is going from that one leg to the other leg. Keep your toes pointing towards me the whole time. I don't want them going out to the side. I don't want them pointing outward, just straight ahead. That's it, we've got it. Let's get two more. Last time. All right. Legs wide, get low for me. Get low, 45 seconds, let's go. So even though we're low, I don't want you leaning forward 
want you to stay up straight, tuck those hips under, then use your knees, your hips to sink low. Yes, there we go. Nice, Patty. You got it, Nicole, let's go.
If not, maybe you need to make that movement a little bit smaller. Maybe that means letting go of that weight up to you. Get one more each way. Good, take that weight out. No weight needed for this one. We are going to come down onto our forearms into that low plank. If you need to, drop to your knees for that modified plank. I want you to throw some elbows. So hit that person that's behind you, that's bugging you, get them off of your shoulder. Give them that elbow jab, up and up. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Knock them out. Yes, big elbow behind. Get that devil right off your shoulder. He's telling you you can't, you're saying, oh no, yes I can, I've got this. We're five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back up. Back to those triceps. So we're bent over. Here we go. Single, single, and double. You're starting with the right arm this time. Right into it. Stay bent over. It's real easy to cheat on this one. I don't want you to do it. Let's get one more each direction. One more. Very, very good. Grab that sip of water. 
We're actually down on the ground for our next round because we're focusing a lot more on our chest. Then we have a little fun finisher. Okay, so we're down on the ground on our backs. It's that single, single, double and a chest press. So we're already familiar with that format. We're gonna start with our left arm. Come all the way down. Arms are up in that goal post. Here we go. Take it over the chest, over the chest, and then both arms together. Try not to let those elbows touch the ground. So they are just hovering. You are not resting them there. How we doing? Are those weights over your face or are they over your chest? It's called the chest press. We want to keep them a little bit lower. One more each way. Single. Single. And double. Great. Negative push-ups. So these are fun. A really good way to get stronger for our full push-ups. So if you're kind of if you're somebody who typically goes on your knees, you can try on your toes. If you usually go against the wall, you can try on your knees for these, okay? So we're lowering down, all the way down to the ground for three, and then we push all the way back up for one. Looks like this. So three, two, one, push up, okay? You can drop your knees if you need to. You're coming all the way down to the ground, and then one strong push up. Here we go, all the way down. If you need to at the bottom, drop to your knees for that push-up. And then come back on your toes. So it's a really good way to build. You're slowly lowering, pressing up. Slowly lowering down to the mat, little rest, press up. All kinds of options. Knees, toes, higher surface. What works for you. Okay, one leg bridge. If you have a band, you can use it for this. <coughs> Excuse me. It would go right above or below your knees. Otherwise, you can use a weight. We want that front leg up, nice 90 degree angle. Okay, we're in that bridge position. We're coming down and up, down and up. So if you've got that band on, you want that leg high enough that it is keeping resistance and you're keeping your knees apart. Hips down, up, hips down, up. Very good, we've got it. Ten seconds. That leg that's stable and stationary on the ground, that's the one that should be getting tired. One more. Good. Set that. Actually, no, I lied. We're, we're just going to stick with that weight. All right. Glue those legs together. We're going to hold that weight by the end. Okay. Everything is lowering down. Everything is pulling in and leading. Okay, so easier is a little bit smaller range of motion. Harder is that full range of motion. Glue that lower back into the mat. Stay nice and controlled as those arms come down and then pull everything together. So the focus is on bringing everything together. Already got it there. Okay. 
Here we go, start with that right arm. Single, single, and double. Keep those elbows hovering off the ground. How we doing, Tori? Up, up, and up. Two more. Get one more each way. Single, single, and double. Take it down. Negative push-ups, knees, toes, combination of both, higher surface, all those options. So let's take it up. Lower yourself all the way down for three. You can drop to your knees if you want to or stay tucked under, push up. It's hard. We want to try and bring that body up as one solid motion. So wherever you can do that the most successfully, that's where I want you to go. Now add a little challenge this round. Just think, just think about your shoulder blades coming apart and together. So they would come together as you go down, apart as you push away. These shoulder blades coming together as you lower down, apart as you press away. Get one more. Woo. All right, flip it over. One leg bridge, band, or weight, or both. Okay, so let's get that back leg in the air this time. Hips are starting up. It's a good place to start from so you find that stability, that balance. Come down. Think about your hips having two headlights on them. You want those lights to be shining straight up towards the ceiling. So if they start to twist towards me or towards the front of the room, reset so those hips press straight up. Five. Four. Lower it all down. Everything comes down. Everything pulls together. Glue those legs together. Glue them. Now why focus on these three areas? Your glutes and your core are the powerhouses of your body. They are keeping everything else running smoothly. But of course, we can't just focus on the center of our body. So our arms are really nice because they help provide support and it's also really functional with all the things we do in daily life. So we're usually using our core or our glutes and our arms together in daily life which makes these exercises extra effective. All right, very good, set that weight down. We're almost done. Quick little finisher. Stand back up. If you've got a band, you wanna keep it around your ankles. If not, you're just gonna grab one weight, like heavy, I don't care. It's in and out, tap down and together. Okay, we're gonna be here 45 seconds, then 45 seconds on the ground, plank jacks. Get ready to go in three, in two, in one, let's take it. Down and up, down and up. Think about clapping your feet together. You're clapping your feet. You don't wanna jump. You're like, Taryn, I signed up for strength. I did not sign up for hit. Step, okay? Either way, 
but make sure then after you do a few leading with one side, you start leading with the other. 20 more seconds.
hands, baby, if you want, reaching those arms up for a little bit of a deeper stretch. And then adding on a twist. So we are twisting towards the front knee. Whatever leg is in front, that's the side you are twisting towards. Come back to the center. Drop those hands down. We'll switch sides. Foot in front, uncurl those toes. Okay, up tall. Hips pushing forward, feeling that stretch through the front of the back leg. Reaching those arms up to deepen it. And maybe even getting that twist towards the front knee. Stretching is so important at the end of each and every workout. Come back to the center, drop those hands down, come back into your plank. Lower all the way down to the ground, uncurl those toes. Let's lift up either part of the way or the whole way to that upward dog. Get those shoulders and ears away from each other. Stretching is going to prepare you for your next workout. It is going to make you be able to work harder on your next workout. Bring your heels together, sink back into that child's pose. All right, go ahead and sink back up. Let those arms reach across the body. One arm over the other, drop the chin to the chest. Give yourself that hug, that stretch. I definitely consider you all part of my fitness family, so if you ever have any questions, please reach out to me. Let's cross the other arm on top. Drop the chin down. I'm so happy you've decided to join us tonight for our chisel. Arms, abs, butt class. I hope to see you next time. We have got hit on Thursday. And then some more classes the following week. So I hope you can join me. Thank you, everyone.